Good afternoon everybody, this is Lara with your daily update for Bitcoin, Ethereum and XRP. For Bitcoin the pitch is pretty much the same but there's a little bit of weakness in volume and there's declining range. So that's slightly concerning for a bullish case but overall I do expect it's more likely than not that Bitcoin's found a low on the 11th of September. There's some technical evidence to suggest this low is in place. The downward trend reached extreme. There's double bullish divergence with price and RSI after RSI reached oversold. And there's a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern with push from volume. Given the context of an extreme trend and oversold and bullish divergence, we give a bullish candlestick pattern quite a lot of weight. And if it has push from volume, I'll give it more weight. So this is one of the strongest lows looking at past sustained lows this is one of the strongest situations for bitcoin so i have a better than 50 50 uh, expectation that the low of 11th of september is going to remain intact but two things i want to see in order to really have confidence in that i want to see a new high above 28145.56 that's the last swing high within the bear market and that would break the series of lower highs and lower lows and then I want to see this red channel which I've drawn conservatively around this bearish movement breached by a full green daily candlestick above and not touching this trend line. Once I have those two things then I'll have some reasonable, I'll have more confidence that the low is in place for 11th of September. Volume yesterday was stronger than the previous session but not as strong as the bullish engulfing candlestick pattern up, up off the low. That's okay, it doesn't have to be increasing every day, day on day and it is still quite bullish that the candlestick pattern has good strong support from volume. There's a weak bullish signal now from on balance volume but the signal is weak because this line that's breached resistance is breached here by on balance volume the line has only two anchor points the minimum required to, to draw a line it's not long held and it has a steep slope all of those things reduce its technical significance but it is a bullish signal but it's weak ADX is declining it's telling us there's no clear trend and the DX lines are getting pretty close to cross crossing over if they do cross over that it tells us there's a potential change from down to up but we won't have ADX indicating a down, a, an upward trend until the positive DX line is above the negative and the black ADX line is rising and above 15. In the very very first instance I want to see the upper resistance line of this previous flag pattern I've just extended these lines on out I want to see this bridge and price closing above it and that would be a little bit more bullishness. This is the wave count on the daily chart for Ethereum. It sees a zigzag complete for a minute degree second wave of 5, 3, 5 with C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh you can't see 1 because this is over it. There we go. So that's a nice impulse. And see it now looks complete and price has bounced up absolutely perfectly off the lower edge of the base channel. So what do I want to see for Ethereum to have confidence that this low is going to remain intact? I want to see a new high above 1745.02. Technicals for Ethereum, it also had a flag pattern. I calculated a target for it. The target was not met. And then we see this bullish piercing pattern up off this low. I've drawn a conservative channel around this bearish movement from the start, from the high to this high here and I've pushed a parallel copy down on this low which then touches this low. I want to see this channel breached by a full daily candlestick above and not touching of green daily candlestick in order to have a little more confidence that the low is in place and then a new high above 1745.02 would add reasonable confidence. Ethereum had a death cross back here. Now that doesn't mean that the bear market has to continue but it does support the view that this was a bear market, well, which it obviously was. Volume up off the low on the piercing pattern was not stronger than previous downward sessions. Now that's not a deal breaker, well, you don't always see that for bullish candlestick patterns. For cryptocurrencies at their sustained lows, if you go back and look at previous sustained lows and study them carefully, they don't always have bullish candlestick patterns, and if they do, they don't always have support from volumes. They do tend to be really weak off their lows, which makes the lows really, really hard to identify. A lot harder than the highs, and none of this is easy. We've also got a bullish signal from on balance volume for Ethereum. This one's slightly more technically significant than 
Bitcoin's bullish signal from on balance volume because this line's got more tests. It's got at least three and it's longer held, but it's still got a, uh, quite a strong downward slope. So a weak bullish signal from on balance volume for Ethereum. It's a little bit of information that yes, the low may be found. ADX reached very extreme for Ethereum and there was double bullish divergence after RSI and money flow reached oversold. And so given those conte that context, we give the bullish candlestick pattern quite a lot of weight. ADX is currently declining, there's no clear trend. XRP on the weekly chart, the only change to this wave count now is I'm going to label minor wave 2 over a 74.5% uh, correction of minor 1. It looks less here because this is a semi-log scale, so uh, logarithmic function is applied to the calculation. But it didn't reach down into a normal depth of 80 to 90 percent, so it was rather shallow. But I think that we might have found a low for XRP, so I'll I'll label this as potentially complete. And this will be the wave count that sees minor wave two complete as a double zigzag. The first zigzag in the double is labelled minute W. A three in the opposite direction joins the first and second zigzags, and the second zigzag in the double could be over here. So minor two could have been a 74.5% correction of minor one. An impulse up over here for a first wave, and another double zigzag very deep over here for a second wave. Now the other reason why I'm going to label minor wave two over here today is this trend channel that contains this bearish movement for XRP is now breached by a full daily candlestick above and not touching. This is the current session. So long as it remains not touching this trend line, then that would constitute my conservative de definition of a trend channel breach, telling us that this movement is over and the next movement is underway. For XRP, this movement up off the low is very weak, but again, if you look back and study prior sustained lows for cryptocurrencies, they can be very weak off their lows. It makes the lows so hard to identify. If it does continue lower, I'd still expect final support and for the bearish move to end at 40 cents, but it looks like it might have, it might have been over on the 17th of August for XRP, even though it is particularly weak up off this last low. Volume was pushing price lower and it's weaker on upward sessions so there's weaker range and weaker volume on upward sessions for recent the last four sessions. There is a little weak bullish signal from on balance volume for XRP though. Again the signal is weak because there's only two and you could kind of count this maybe three tests of this line. It's got a shallow slope and it's not long held so the bullish signal is weak but there is a bullish signal now from on balance volume for XRP. ADX now moves above the negative DX line so it's above both the DX lines telling us now that the downward trend which ADX says is still in place is now extreme. So given that there's an extreme trend and RSI reached oversold and exhibited divergence, money flow reached oversold and exhibited divergence and knowing that these cryptocurrencies can be particularly weak up off their lows it is possible that XRP found a low back here. The technical evidence is starting to mount but the bottom line for me for XRP still is I want to see a new high above 0.6650 in order to have confidence that this low of the 17th of August is going to be sustained because that would break the series of lower highs and lower lows. We would then have a higher high and an indication of a trend change. That's it for me with your crypto update today. I hope everyone's looking forward to an awesome weekend and I got more surf yesterday and today so I am very happy.